Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles and I have another one page wonder. This one's super cool because I'm gonna show you two different things you can make out of the same fold. So these are made using just a regular piece of um, eight and a half by 11 size paper. We're actually gonna cut it to eight and a half by 10, but you can just use, you know, your regular paper, digital print, digitals, things like that. Or you can cut a piece of scrapbook paper to eight and a half by 10 and make one with us. So everybody can play along. The first one I did, I made into a money holder. And this is using the new Christmas Folks kit by Joey Cardmaker that I am in love with. Um, and you're gonna see a lot of this this season, I'm sure, because I just love the paper. So it's basically a little envelope um, that's an easy fold. And I'm gonna show you some different ideas of how you can do a closure if you want to. But it's perfect um, for at least American money. Um, it holds a bill. Um, that size just right um, and of course you can put other things in these as well and so I was thinking this will be cute to um, write a little note or something to whoever you're giving this to if you want to um, I love it I think it's so cute and I'm thrilled with it so that's one idea as a money a money holder you could put a check um, I guess you could also just put gift cards in there, whatever you want. Okay, but then I took the exact same idea, the same fold, and I used some of my um, fall, uh, I think this is the feeling like fall papers, and then some pieces that I had just on my desk, but made it into like a little mini, mini tiny journal, and it's no sew. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you'll see you've got the same side pocket, and then I used some of the journaling cards to make a page, some coffee dyed paper, another journaling card, and then I just tucked a piece of ephemera um, in the other side of kind of this envelope idea. Um, you could probably add more pages. You could sew it if you prefer, but um, I decided to show a way to bind it with just a few pages with glue so and some washi tape. Fun, right? And I also put a little closure, made this little belly band. So many options, so excited. So let's do the Christmas one first where she's gonna be a money holder and then we'll do the other one and I'll show you how to attach the papers and things. But um, the basic fold is gonna be the same for both regardless of what you wanna use it for. So again, you're gonna start with a piece of paper that measures eight and a half, this way, eight and a half by 10. What I also wanted to show you is if you get digital paper kits and they print with that white border around them, this works, this project works. Um, just leave the white border on that eight and a half inch side and then trim, trim it off um, on the other two sides, but make sure you do both sides and then cut it to 10 inches, all right? And of course, if you're gonna use a piece of scrap of paper, just cut it to eight and a half by 10. Okay, so we're gonna start scoring on the eight and a half inch side. And we are gonna score at one inch, and then we are gonna score at seven and a half inches, okay? And then turn it to your 10 inch side. And we are going to score at seven eighths. That is the, the line that is just the, the, the one little line right before one inch, seven eighths of an inch. Okay, score it two inches, five inches, and then turn your paper, just because it's a whole lot easier, <laughs> 180 degrees, so just upside down. So you're still on that 10 inch side, but now we're scoring on the other side. You've already scored some on this side. And you're again going to score it 7 eighths of an inch and two inches, okay? So you have 7 eighths of an inch, two inch, you've already done the five inch. And when it was turned this way, you did seven eighths of an inch and two inches. I am going to have all of these measurements in the description for you guys, and hopefully that will be clear. So what I am going to do now is I'm gonna ink these score lines really quick 
so you can see what this looks like. It is not hard, um, but that little bit of the turn on the paper with that measurement um, might be a teeny touch confusing. So I am going to ink, and then we're gonna be look at it together. We're also gonna be cutting um, a few of the sections out with our scissors. So, um, get ready for that too. <laughs> and if you wanna go ahead and, and fold yours like I am, if you've already scored it, go right ahead. Um, you can go ahead and do the folding if you want to. Okay, I hope you're able to now see what we're doing. I'm not worrying about creasing everything too much just yet. Just want you guys to see the score lines. All right, and again, check the description, and then if you want to craft with me, you'll have that in front of you, or later to go back and look at. Okay, so this helps you see. We scored at seven eighths of an inch, two inches. Oh, I didn't do the five inch score. The one in the middle. <laughs> oh goodness, Pam. Okay. All right. We did seven eighths of an inch, two inches, five inches, and then we flipped it around and we did seven eighths of an inch and two inches. On the eight and a half inch side, we scored at one inch and at seven and a half inches. Okay? All right. Now, I'm gonna get my pencil and show you. We are going to cut out the four corners and we are also going to cut out these two sections. And I will do that while you're watching. And again, I cut just a little to the right and the left of those scores so that the paper that has the little creasy part in it is the part that gets cut out. I am going to encourage you to keep these little pieces, you may not need the little square ones, but I did use these two strips. I used um, part of them to um, help with my closure. So you may want that. It has the pattern of your paper. And if you want it to kind of coordinate, it might be an option. You at least want to have the option in case you want to use it. So don't throw it away yet. All right, and this is probably the most challenging part of this whole project, is just cutting out your little sections. And now we've got these last two corners. But again, it's not hard at all. Okay, here we go. And guys, this is the first, I guess, for 2024 Christmas project I'm putting up. I cannot wait to dig into this paper kit even more because I'm gonna have so much fun with it. <laughs> okay, now, yours should look like this. When you were holding it with the these larger sections that are cut out, when they're towards the top, I am going to round some corners, and this is optional, you don't have to, but you can see on mine, I did round the corners here. If you don't, they'll just be square, and that's okay. Um, but I'm gonna round mine. So it's these two corners that we're going to, to do the corner rounding on. And I'm using my half an inch and you have to kind of, because my, if you have one like this, it has the guard on it. And because of the shape of the paper, you just kind of have to get it to go in there. But it will, um, even with that corner there. You just kind of have to be patient and get it lined up. And it will work. And that one I didn't do very good. Let's flip it this way. I think it's easier for some reason. There we go. Kind of just jam it in there. All right. That's all we need our corner rounder for. Now, I am going to do a little bit of inking, and we can do more later. 
um, if we want to. But this is where I'm going to show you how the only place when we start folding this up that you're going to see the little white strip is a little bit on this part of the pocket where you put the money and it just blends right in. Now, if you ink it, you know, it may not blend in, but that doesn't bother me. You know, I, in fact, I did that on this one. I, I inked it a little bit and I still think it looks good. Um, the rest of the little white strips um, get covered up. And this actually fits in here just in this little part of the pocket, or you can put it behind those tabs. Just thought I'd point that out. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so when you're folding it up, let's do this bottom one first. You're gonna fold up. Um, this is the, the part that was 7 eighths of an inch, and then you're gonna fold the side flaps in. Everything's folding nicely because we've already folded it. And then you're gonna fold the bottom up. And the only place you're going to put glue is in this little section here and here, these two corners. That's all the glue you need for this pocket. And I'm using my PVA Line Co. brand wet white glue. If you need to look at some supplies, check out my Amazon storefront. It's linked for you in the description. I am an Amazon affiliate, which means I get a couple of pennies from Amazon if you make a purchase. No cost to you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that pocket is glued. We're going to let it dry. Now, flip it around this way, and we're going to, again, this is the 7 eighths of an inch portion. We're going to fold it up, fold your little flaps over, and then fold it on that 2 inch crease. And this is going to make that top pocket. And again, we're just going to add glue to these two squares. That's all you need. And if you cut neatly, when you fold this over, you won't see any of the flap. You may want to check yours before you glue it. If you didn't cut neatly, you know, you may need to trim it off just a little. Um, that, that happens to the best of us. And then you want to fold it over so that it closes like a money holder. Okay. Now, the papers I chose to use have this vertical orientation. That doesn't bother me. I'm okay with it, but we could decorate it in such a way if we wanted to, that we had some images, you know, if you wanted it to open um, with a horizontal uh, orientation. But I, I kind of like it with the stockings or the trees um, in the correct direction. So I'm just going to decorate mine this way. And I've already pulled out a few little pieces from the kit um, to help us save some time. These are so cute. I have to show you this really quick. I think I can find it quickly. Um, I'm just, oh, yeah, here it is. I'm just starting to play with this kit. Guys, I haven't even cut the pockets out yet. But the way Joey designed this is when this little elf... <laughs> goes down in the pocket and the same with the snowman and the other one I'm going to cut this just so you guys can see it I am so excited about this I'll of course have to print it again because I'm using the little cards in my money holder but I am just dying at how cute this is so he's going to tuck in there I'm going to fold him in half and he's going to tuck in is that not the cutest or I guess you can tuck him in there. Oh, don't even fold him in half. Look at that. And his whole little body. Oh, my gosh. Love it. I'm so excited about this. So, anyway, that's just another little plug for some of the beautiful papers in this kit. Um, I will link it for you in case you guys are interested um, in the description. Because it's going to be make some beautiful journals and little pieces and, and bits here, I am sure. All right, I'm going to put Santa on the front, and then I also was going to show you how I made this little closure. Um, there's some of these little tags in here. This one says Frosty. That doesn't really quite go with Santa, does it? Hmm. Maybe we'll pick one of the snowmen to put on the front. But I wanted the whole word, and this is what I did here. I wanted the whole world, so I extended the tag with a little piece of the coordinating paper, and glued it to the back 
reinforced it. I used a little bit of the same paper that I made the envelope out of. So this is double thickness and used my Velcro dots. So we'll make one. Let me pick a different image though for the front because I'm not sure I want it to say frosty and then have a Santa on the front. So there's all kinds of tags. I cut that Santa out of this collage sheet. Um, there's a little elf hugging a snowman. That would work. And I guess frosty could just kind of mean it's cold, right? Um, this little girl is really cute too. Let's do this. Even though it's a smaller piece, let's see what it looks like. I cut it out really quick. Um, I have a few family members that, um, tradition, you know, like they give money, like to my kids, like a check or whatever at Christmas time, especially as the kids have gotten older and it's hard to know, you know, what everybody wants. And I just think I'm guessing in other families, um, you know, people might still like to have the money holders. Um, and again, you could put a gift card in there, even though I have some ideas for gift card holders that are the perfect size for a gift card, I decided to leave the deer on there as well. Um, save Santa. Anyway, um, leave me a comment. Let me know, do you guys like money holders? Do you still think that people use them? Um, are you interested in ideas for gift cards, gift card holders? Some cute ideas for that. Let me know. Leave me a comment and tell me what your thoughts are on this topic. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, that'll be cute. And we're going to put Frosty and we're going to extend the tag like I did with the other one. So I need to trim this to the same width as my tag and my little strip is just a little bit wider so that's good I'm going to just use the tag itself to help me get the correct width okay now um I am going to fold my tag right at where the Y is and if you're not if you're a little worried about getting it getting it nice and neat and just past the Y I'm going to use my ruler I'm hoping you guys can see this and I am going to score this I'm going to hold it nice and firm I scored it right past the Y and it's going to fold over neatly for me there we go and that's also going to help me glue this strip of paper. And I'll decide how long I need it after I glue it down. I am going to add glue. I'm going to ink it so you can see just to this section of the tab right here. And I am going to glue it to the strip of paper. Make sure I don't go past the score line. Doesn't matter that I have these lines on here, we're not gonna see them. And if your paper is just a touch wide, just trim it off so everything matches up perfectly. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. The other one I sort of did off center this one I think I'm gonna put, it's a little bit more narrow. I'm gonna put it right in the center on the front. Again, I am crazy about this paper. The colors are gorgeous. And it still feels very much like traditional Christmas, but I think incorporating the blue and kind of a tealy kind of green, some of the other greens, it just, I don't know, it's just speaking to me. I'm loving it. All right, we're going to put our little tag um, approximately right there. Again, you don't have to put it in the middle, but I think I'm going to put mine in the middle or pretty close to it. 
And then I just need it to wrap around the back. I don't need it to be this the strip this long. And I'm going to use a little bit of this strip. So I'm going to just snip it off. And then I'm going to line because when I open this up, I would like to see the same color, not the bright white. And it'll give it a little more thickness. So again, I am just going to add glue to this section. This is the part that says frosty. And this is the part that's also going to hold the little piece of Velcro. So it's kind of nice to make sure it's nice and sturdy. And I'm again, I didn't cut it perfectly, so I'm just going to trim it so that it fits just like that. Okay, so now when we use it as our closure, this will be glued down. I'm going to hold it with my finger and we open it up so you'll see the same color paper. Isn't that lovely? It just gives it a little more of a finish. Okay, I do want to ink my little paper extension here. I hadn't done that yet. Make sure I've inked all around because I'm about to glue it down. All right, again, get it to the front, hold it where you want it. I'm not doing mine too tight because I haven't put anything on the inside yet. So I'm leaving a little, a little room so that if it gets a little bit bulkier inside, this will still fit. That makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna hold it, flip it over, not letting it wiggle, and we're gonna glue this whole flap to the back. And again, I'm not doing it all the way super tight to the edge because I want to have a little bit of room. See how nice that looks? I love it. And then we can put more ephemera in here if we want to. Of course, the money, the check, whatever, if we're going to use it as a money holder. But you know, honestly, it's so cute. Just use it as an ephemera holder if you want to, or an envelope. Put a letter in here. <laughs> so many choices. Okay. I am going to add my Velcro dot and I'm going to put it here on the tab and I'm putting the one, these are pretty opaque regardless, but I am putting the one that's a little bit wider, the more fabric-y side on the tab. And this one is a little bit clearer because, you know, when I go to open it, you really don't even see it. It just blends right in. So sweet. Now, wouldn't anybody love to get that as a gift? If you want, there are some words in the kit. Merry Christmas, season's greetings, like just all kinds of things. I mean, you could continue to decorate it. I put a little bow. This one was one of the actual tags. I'm going to put a little, a little bow on this one, too, just because I think it adds a little bit of extra interest and texture. Um, and there we have it. So if you guys like this kit as much as I do, drop a comment, let me know. Um, give Joey a little bit of love. He's got um, an Etsy shop. He has a YouTube channel, all of the things. Um, and I'll, I'll tag him and link his, his, this kit in his shop in the description in case you guys want to go check it out. Okay, we're going to let that dry. Super happy with those. All right, I'm going to set them aside. Now I'm going to show you it's basically the same thing, but we are going to turn it into a little mini journal. And I think it will make a great gift. Um, and again, you could put money in your little mini journal if you wanted to. Um, possibilities are endless. Um, probably should have gone ahead and done this portion, but you guys can fast forward if you don't want to watch me make another one. If you would like to see it again, here we go. We are taking a piece of paper that is eight and a half inches by 10 inches, and we're going to score it. So the first scores we're going to do are on the eight and a half inch side at one inch and at seven and a half inches. 
And then we're gonna, on the 10 inch side, here we go, we're gonna score it seven eighths, two, and five. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna flip it all the way around 180 degrees and score it seven eighths of an inch and at two inches, okay? Those, again, are in the description for you. And again, I am gonna fold on all of my score lines and get ready to cut out the sections we need to cut out. These, honestly, you could mass make these. I, I, I mean, I'm talking and trying to show you guys what I'm doing, and I'm even gonna ink a little bit again so you can see where I'm cutting, but you can probably see how nice and easy and quick these could come together. And then I guess it just depends on how much time you wanna spend on your lovely decorations, right? All right, I'm not gonna ink as carefully as I did the first one, but that way, hopefully if you're watching and you needed to see it again, you'll still be able to see a little bit of what I'm doing. Right? So, um, my husband and I went and dropped my car off. It needs to be inspected. In Virginia, we have state inspections and, um, so he followed me to the shop where we are going, where we're getting it in inspected, and it, we got the car and everything was fine. And I get in the in his car to come home, and he had the windows down because it's really beautiful here today. The sun is out, and it's only like seventy five degrees. But I have long hair, so with the windows down, my hair goes nuts, and I try not to complain. Right here, real quick, as a quick reminder, we're cutting out these squares these corners, and then we're gonna cut out this section and this section, okay? Um, anyway, I'm trying not to complain and say, please roll the windows up. So for a few minutes, I just let my hair blow like crazy until he looks over at me and he's like, oh my gosh, you know, and he's rolling the windows up. Anyway, I say that because I look, um, my hair looks a little, crazier than it normally does. It always looks just a little bit crazy. Um, I have naturally curly hair. Um, but anyway, I don't know why I thought that was funny, but he is such a sweet, sweet person and so considerate. He has um, a son and two daughters. And of course, with our blended family, he has another daughter and another son. There's five of them. But he's just always so considerate um, to me and our daughters and other women. You know, anyway, it was just really funny. Um, but I also feel like when I get in his car and he was helping me, um, that I'm always like, don't do this or I'm cold or I'm hot. <laughs> he's the one that's usually cold and I'm the one that is usually hot. So, all right. Here we go. All right, everything is trimmed back out again. And I'm gonna show you one more time how we're going to fold it up. So we're gonna make the part of the envelope that held the money in the money holder. So fold up the 7 eighths portion to the two inch line. Sorry, the 7 eighths inch line and then fold both of the tabs over and then fold it up to the two inch side. That's how you wanna do it. Oh, I haven't rounded the corners. I'm gonna do that because I like how that looks. Again, this is optional, but I'm gonna show ya. I really can make this work. There we go. Um, somebody probably has a trick of how to round these corners when it kinda sticks in there. All right, so again, fold up your bottom flap that was seven eighths of an inch, your side tabs, and then up to your two inch flap. We are gonna add glue to the bottom, to the left and the right hand corners, just those squares, fold it up. So easy, love it. Flip it around, fold up the bottom to the, fir the first score line, the two tabs in, 
fold it up. This is where I always look at everything to make sure if you want to ink, now is your time to ink. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, look at that. Bam. See how quick and easy it can come together? And again, you don't have to round those corners if you don't want to. Now, this one can be decorated again any way you like. What I really want to show you, though, is how I put the papers in um, with just some glue and washi tape. So that's what we're going to focus on next. So I have a couple of pieces of coffee dyed paper that I'm going to put in. And these measure six inches tall. I just remember because I just cut them. And this is... Um, now, now I said that, and I better double check. Hmm. It was supposed to, they were supposed to be folded the other way, I think. Let's see. Yep. So we're going to do that. All right. Six inches this way. And five and a half inches wide. And then fold them on the five and a half inch side in half. I folded mine on the six inch side. So now they fit in here six inches tall and they don't hang out the side of my little mini journal okay and I already had folded them the other way but that's all right now I'm taking two of the cards I have them cut out um they come on a sheet like well these do as well the flowers of um little cards and this is the freebie on buy me a coffee that coordinates with my feeling like fall paper kit so if you haven't grabbed it go grab it um, but I cut them out this way, keeping two together, even though there's that white strip in there, I don't think it's going to matter. It doesn't matter. Um, I just fold it in half and you barely see it, but then with a little bit of ink and us gluing it to our little journal, you're not even going to see that. And now we have another little page for our journal. The one that... I made earlier, I glued some of my coffee dyed paper to the other side. I'm not gonna do that right now. I mean, if you want to, just take a piece of coffee dyed paper, add some glue to your card, you know, press it down and then cut it out if you want it not to be white, or you could put any kind of paper on the back, right? You could print on the other side. All kinds of options. Um, but I'm not gonna do that right now. What I am going to do is stack my little, little signature together and make sure I'm liking it. I am going to ink the center line so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, so I want to not have to sew this. You could easily throw this on your sewing machine and sew it right, right through here you could do a three pamphlet stitch, right? I do that all the time, but I'm gonna show you a no-sew option for those of you that would like a no-sew option. So first we're gonna just glue these two pieces of coffee dyed paper together. And I just very carefully just put a little bit of glue right along the crease of one of them. These pages, it's not like we're doing this for a great big huge journal and it's okay if the crease is not exactly perfect, all right, that's going to be enough to hold these two together. And I'm going to let that dry, and then we may reinforce it and be careful with it, maybe with a little bit of washi tape, but that's really all I did, and it worked just fine. This one, when you fold it open, you just kind of crease it like that, and it works, okay? Yay! This one... I am going to, let me again, crease, ink this so you can see it. This one we are going to attach with some washi tape. So decide where you want it. Do you want it centered? Do you want it kind of down to the bottom, up to the top? Where do you want it? I'm gonna go a little towards the bottom just for fun. And I have a washi tape that is um, some fall leaves here. And I've had it for a long time in my stash and add a little extra glue so my washi tape doesn't go anywhere I love 
how easy it is to use washi tape for things like this because it's so thin and versatile. Look at that. Holds it right down. And a little extra glue so the washi tape doesn't come up. Very cute. All right. There we go. Now, if you're worried about the inside pages, um, you know, add a little bit of washi if you want to. Um, I think I did on one of mine and not on the other. So, or if you just want it for decoration purposes, you know, put a piece in there. All right. Now, we're going to do the same thing to attach it inside our little mini journal. Okay, now I want to just put the washi though on the card portion because it's the shortest. So again, I'm gonna tear my washi tape. It's almost the height of that card. I'm holding this right where I want it, right at that score line. Add my glue. And you do wanna make sure you give the glue plenty of time to dry before you mess with this too, too much. <laughs> now, I don't know that this binding method would work if you um, had like huge signatures. Um, I haven't tried it. You could try it, let me know. But I feel pretty confident that it's gonna be just fine for these few sheets of paper I put in here. I went really close to the top with my glue. So I'm gonna try to make sure I get, get it all the way to the top there. Okay. Now, all that's left to do is admire our cute little journal. Um, I decorated this one. I just picked, I went to my doodad book and started just picking out some pieces that I had. I added a belly band. This closure is just a little card that I tore the edge, used a Velcro dot on. Um, yeah, just threw some things in here, like that little coffee cup, and decorated it. So I'm not gonna take time right now to decorate this one on camera, but I just wanted you to see how easy it was to turn this into a little mini journal. Again, you could add a gift card, some money, add a letter, more journaling space, ephemera, whatever you want in these pockets. I think it is a fun way to use the same fold, but to get a couple of ideas going. So I hope you liked this. I hope you'll make some. Let me know. Please give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you haven't already. I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for your support. And I hope you have a great day.